you'll be amazed. You'll be shocked the kind of life you'll be having and enjoying. But if you don't let go of the old, the new, you can barely just scratch it. I got a new phone. There was not that the phone was working, but the phone, I couldn't make a call with it. Amen? Amen. Brand new phone, but I couldn't make a call. Why? Why? That's what they call SIM card. No matter how much you pay for the phone, you need what? SIM card. Without the SIM card, you can't make a call with it. Through a phone. And then after you put the SIM card, now you have to set the phone, isn't it? Even though it's a brand new phone, I mean, we are recording with it right now. But, it doesn't work without SIM card, without setting. So a new creation, a new creation, though brand new, does not work. Except what? Except, except you reset. And what do you use to reset it? You need the same card to reset it for you. need the word to reset your heart. You see the way it works. And so when you get born again, and you play around the word of God, you don't pretend to the word of God. You don't. Listen, you are born again in some paper. It's born again. And we have many people that are paper born again. They are not scripturally born again. And that's why we have a lot of issues we have in the church. We got them born again. We filled them with the Holy Ghost quite all right. But they were empty. And so after a while, what happens? The Bible said that the later nature of the man become worse than the former. Because now, now, like what Papa the way he said, he said, if you come for ordination and you are still stealing as a pastor, and we ordain you as a pastor, he said, you only end up being an ordained thief. <laughs> Because that's what the pandemic says. He said, what well, do you end up being an ordained thief? And so you continue stealing until judgment comes. But what is interesting to me is that Moses says, with this, you can prolong life. With this, you can prolong what? Your days. And every time I read this scripture, it hits me. And the reason why it hits me is because it tells me that how long I will live and how well I will live on this earth. It's not with the devil. It's not with God. So presently, who is it with? Amen. It is with me. It is with me. It is with me. I decide how I want to live. I decide how long I want to live. I decide whether I will be sick on earth or not. I decide whether I will be poor or not. The, the new life is without program. And so now, you begin to program yourself. You know, begin to program yourself. Begin to program yourself. Failure to program, uh, uh, the devil will take advantage. What Moses said to them in Deuteronomy 32, it's exactly the same thing Paul says to them in Acts chapter 20. Exactly the same thing. Let's look into Acts 20. Acts chapter 20. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. One thing I don't want you to miss out in this class is that a new heart and a new spirit will I give unto you. And I will take away the heart of stone. I want you to look at your character, whether it is based on the heart of stone or the heart of flesh. Especially the things you have been struggling to change. Struggling to change. Praise the Lord. In Acts chapter 20, verse 32. Acts chapter 20, verse 32. Are we there? Yeah. I'm going to read it from the Message Bible. Oh. May it bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Paul has finished his work. He was about to leave. What did he say? He said, now I am turning you over to God. When you get born again, you are being turned over to God. He said, 
He says, now I'm turning you over to God, our marvelous God, whose gracious word can make you into what he wants you to be. Yes. Whose gracious word, whose gracious word can make you into what he wants you to be and give you everything you could possibly need. Ah! And give you, and give you everything you could possibly need in this community of holy friends. Paul defined our new life as a community of holy friends. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, sir. Wow. Is there any difference between what Paul said and what Moses said? There's no difference. And they are about talking about the quality of your life. And they said the quality of your life. He says, hey, in New King James, I commend you to the word of God. That is able to do what? To build you up. Does anybody have, have New King James here? Yes, sir. Uh, King James, you can read King James. And now, brethren, yes. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. Grace. Which is able to build you up. Which is able to do what? Build you up. Build you up. And what? And to give you an inheritance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The word of his grace, thank you. The word of his grace, that is what? Able to build you. Able to build you. Moses said, able to prolong. Able to build you. Able to prolong. If you want to be built up and have a prolonged life, what do you do? Set your heart. Set your heart. Lawlessness shortens life. Short lawlessness plagues life with sickness and diseases. Are you hearing me? To live, to live a lawless life, it shortens, it shortens life for people. Paul said that he's able to give us an inheritance. So it means that. Church. And then just at the junction, the police stopped the, the van. And I told the guy, I said, wait, wait, I want to see what will happen. And so the driver, the person driving came out. And the policeman was just asking for nothing important, nothing important. And so I waited after a while, I came out of the vehicle. And I went to him, I looked at him. I said, what is it, sir? He said, um, where is this going to? I said, we are going to church. He said, um, uh, where is this? Um, where is that? Uh, and I was looking at him. And I said to him, he was wearing his name on his uniform. I said to him, Emmanuel is your name. I said, Emmanuel is your name. We are going to church. Emmanuel, does that not touch you? He Maybe it didn't even dawn on him. Then he looked. He said, <laughs> he laughed. He said, um, okay, you push, you go. Are you hearing me? His name on his shirt, his name on his shirt is written Emmanuel boldly. And that means God is with him. God is with us. And here, Emmanuel was told that this vehicle is taking something to church and Emmanuel wants to stop it for a bribe. And his name is Emmanuel. And his name is Emmanuel. This is, this is even a, a, a small thing. In the East, it's even worse. Praise the Lord. In the East, it's even terrible. For five naira, they can keep you for a whole day on the road. Such level of wickedness, and you will see their name Chukuma, Chukudi, Chukusobe, Chukuidus, Chukwemeka, Chukunonso, Chukuna. All the Chuku is on their uniform. And they are so wicked, I mean. No, do I have a witness here? In this family, there's an inheritance. Isn't it? It means that in this family, there's what? 
an inheritance that is able to build you and to give you an inheritance. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all starts with your heart. All starts with your attitude. And I say to you, please, take all that you have been today, throw it out of the window and say, Lord, I want to start afresh. Where do you start? Start from the way you talk. Start with the way you talk. Start talking blessings. Start from yourself. Speak blessings to yourself. I'm not going to be sick. No. Sick them are not blessing me. Because it's very simple. As we finish, find a corner about your knees and say, Lord, I have understood what new creation is. I didn't know it before. Remember what? Oh. Romans chapter where am I going? Twelve. We all know it. Amen. Amen. Romans twelve. So at the end of this class, you can just go to a place and say, Lord, I know you allow you to. I know you allow it. And Lord, I'm about to make a U-turn today. I want to enjoy the full benefit of salvation. I don't want to short change myself. Lord, a new heart. A new heart. Programmed by your spirit. Is what I want from today. All the old life in me, Lord, I am letting them go from today. The way I used to talk, the way I used to act, the way I used to behave, Lord, I am letting all go. Lord, I want a newness. Hey! Uh, you know, you know, I, 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 I feel the anointing even talking to you about it. I feel the anointing. Because God is more than eager to do these things in our life. Blessed are them that are hunger and test after righteousness. For they shall be filled. You have such a hunger for the newness in your life. What is God is waiting for? God is waiting to come in. Jesus said, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. He will not force himself in. He's the devil that does that. And he said, if anyone will open, if anyone will open, he said, I will come in. When he says, to all seek and you shall find. What did he say we should seek? You no, know, people don't connect scriptures. Before he said, ask, seek, knock, in Matthew 7, he has told us in Matthew 6, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And so when he was saying, ask, seek, and knock, he has told us in Matthew 6, verse 33, seek ye first. And so he said, if you seek, you will find it. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be feared. Listen, we have been we have been sold the wrong product in Christianity, and it's time to return it. <laughs> Did you hear what you said? We have been sold the wrong product in Christianity. Any any born again that is not followed with the programming of the word of God, you have frustration in your Christian life. And I know many people that has happened to already. Amen. Amen. And I said to you, Jesus is not come to heal us only. He came to make healers out of us. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. He didn't come just to heal us. Because then you will keep getting sick and sick and sick and sick. He came to show us how we can stay healthy. And he said, let your light shine. He said, those that believe in me, out of their heart shall flow. Shall flow. Rivers. And so we become a source of life to many. He said, let your light shine. And so until your Christ, Christianity becomes a source of life to many, we have not succeeded. We are failing. Or do we affect others? 
Have you seen anybody that doesn't like to be loved? Have you seen? And yet, Jesus said, the new commandment I give to you in the new life. The new love for the new life. What is it? 